Yo, what's up guys? Bastion YJ here. So apparently they had a midnight release for the rarity collection and no one let your boy know. So we're on our way to go ahead and check it out there, Shorty. <laughs> we're on our way to go ahead and get it and I'm taking you guys with me. Let's go. So annoying. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. We're gonna go ahead and open up our first box of the Rarity Collection. I'm so excited for this, guys. So, so excited. I even, I, I already got prepared, guys. We got the sleeves here. We got our official main phase sleeves. This is actually the first pack I ever got from main phase. I was hoping to keep it for a special moment. And what better moment than for the best set of 2023 Yu-Gi-Oh! Shout out to you, Konami. Shout out to Main Face. Let's go ahead and open up this amazing pack and see what QCRs we get, guys. All right, guys. So we are here. We're going to get ready to open up some 25th Century Rarity Collection. So excited for this, guys. Rocking the Just Draw the Out skill issue sweater, the hoodie, the merch. We got it out here. Make sure you get yours. Click the in link in the description, guys. I have three collections out right now. We have the Bastion White shirt, the Just Draw the Out. We have the Llama collection already out, guys. If you guys are interested in getting some merch, drop it down below. But let's get into it, guys. We're going to go ahead and open up our first few sets of the 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection. The most hyped reprint set of the entire, not just reprint set, the most hyped set of the entire year. Let's see what Platinum Secret Rares, what QCRs, what OCG Ultimate Rares we get. I'm so excited for this, dude. Uh, I think the cards that I like the most are the Secret Rare, the QCR Effect Bailers, Infinite Impermanence, uh, Ash Blossom, of course, is a go-to card as well, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick some of that up. So we will see what we can do. And what we don't pick up here, we'll most likely have to go ahead and purchase singles, but you got to support your local OTS. So we got over here our first rarity collection, guys. The pack itself is so nice. I feel like it has like a foil to it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what we can go ahead and get here, guys. First pack. All right. Breathe, breathe. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Let's see, we got, first up, we got a super rare Lava Golem, very cool. I see some shininess in the background. We got a secret rare Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, very, very cool. Uh, as far as this goes, uh, with the Afterglow Dragon, I did just get rid of all of my um, my Galaxy Eyes stuff, but it's still really nice to go ahead and see this in a reprint. And we got our first, I don't, was this, this, is this the ultimate rare? Is this the ultimate rare? <laughs> Yo, look at this. We got Cherubini, the Burning Abyss. Oh my God! You can feel the texture and everything. This is not the this is not the CR, right? This is not the CR. This is definitely the new Ultimate Rare. Oh man, that looks amazing. That looks amazing, guys. I'm super super excited for this. Let's keep it going. Oh my, I don't, I kind of don't want to stop looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> very very cool guys let's go ahead and keep it going though uh we got nibiru very very cool ultra ultra rare very nice we're gonna go ahead and keep these a little bit more separate over here nibiru and we got inspector of order a very underrated card a very good card in a stun variant decks and that's gonna be it for the last pack guys uh, for the last pack for the last card in that pack uh i'm not gonna go too i'm trying not to go too too slow but these are really really cool to open they just uh, i mean that was really satisfying i mean oh my gosh the ultimate rare is amazing. I don't even play BA. <laughs> I kind of want to now. Uh, we're gonna start off with a super rare chaos space, guys. Sorry for the uh, the ceiling fan light in the background. Uh, Nightmare unicorn secret rare. Always a very very beautiful uh, printing, at least for the uh, Nightmare unicorn. Definitely my favorite printing of it. We got a. Is this an ultra rare summon limit? Let's go. Secret rare. Nice, we got the Ultra Rare Summit Limit. And we got an Ultra Rare Ice Barrier. Okay, Ice Barrier is actually a really, really necessary card to play Sharks. And I've been making a few videos on Sharks recently. At least they've been in two of them. And honestly, I just get more and more excited to go ahead and try that deck out. So I might have to uh, swag out and get me some QCR Ice Barriers. We'll see. Definitely, guys. I don't think you can really miss with this, though. <laughs> uh, we got Elder Entity Ints. Very cool. We got a secret rare Celine. That's always looking sleek. Let's go. I'll take that. And we got a artifact Lancia. We got it ultra rare. Let's go. Nice. We got it. Oh, let's go. We got a what's it called? Uh, I forgot the rarity. Damn it. <laughs> we got a collector's rare magician salvation. Not the lost art, but still a very very cool card. I feel like this one has a bit of texture here as well, which you can kind of see. 
in the reflection you can kind of see that the whole card art is actually textured which i really like i don't know about these bumps over here though they're supposed to be here but it kind of looks like bubbles anyway i feel like that's revealing a bit too much of the card <laughs> uh, definitely very very shiny very very cool actually looks so much better than the crs that we got here in previous sets like the drytron crs things like that i just don't feel like you can see it and caught by the grave very nice there we go. Actually, oh my gosh, I didn't, I completely forgot. We have the main face sleeves here. Let's go ahead and check those out. Main face, big, big shout out to the homie Geo. Uh, his channel has been growing a lot too exponentially, guys. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out Geo's channel, Main Face TV. Uh, big, big team over here in San Antonio and really looking to take over with some amazing product. Look at how that shines even in the sleeve, guys. Really, really cool. I go ahead and leave a link to his channel in the description for you guys who want to go ahead and check him out as well. There we go. So we have the Ultimate Rare Cherubini, and we have the CR uh, Magician Salvation so far. Very freaking cool, guys. Oh, man. I mean, this is such a fun set to, to open, to get these all these different rarities and everything. This is really cool. I only opened up three packs. <laughs> we got Super Rare Ash Blossom. Let's go. Nice. We're going to leave that over here. Right, we got Secret Rare Ice Barrier. Nice. I was just talking about it, how cool this card is, how great it is for a deck like Sharks. Definitely a very, very huge card. And we got it's Oh, my God. <laughs> is this a CR? We got a Collector's Rare Mass Hero Dark Law, guys. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful artwork on that incredible absolutely super super nice i mean i know that the highest printing this was i believe the ultimate rare that was running on like four or five hundred dollars or something like that but uh this looks amazing so so cool so clean too love the artwork love the quality on it love the little sparkle shine that you guys can see kind of looks like glitter uh, all over the card but then you turn around it's like no it's it's a cr it's a cr very freaking cool let's go ahead and put that one away uh we got outlitch the golden lord and a herald nice let's go ahead and put the dark law in our main face leaf shout out main face <laughs> we're not sponsored by main face by any chance by the way uh let's go next pack over here guys uh sorry this video is going to be a little bit longer man but this is my first time actually opening the product and i'm just so excited for it uh, we got Nadir Servant, super rare. We got a Lava Golem Secret Rare. Very, very nice. Very cool. Okay, put that one in your side deck. Awesome. Want to make sure you guys are able to see the shine. Hell yeah, the little guy in there. Shiny too. <laughs> uh, we got a Ultra Rare Pot of Desires. Very, very nice. And, uh, oh, I feel like we had an extra card this pack. Oh, well, oh, okay. Uh, we got a Mech Knight Abramax and a Pot of Desires. Nice. So that is a card that I completely forgot was in here, guys. Pot of Prosperity is in here, which is super hype. Uh, I mean, getting being able to swag out your Pot of Prosperity is super huge. I think the most chased cards are probably going to be Ash Blossom and Pot of Prosperity, but we'll have to wait and see. Red Eyes Flare and Metal Dragon, a very nice super rare as well. And we got our first collector rare, guys. Our first uh, 25th century, not collector, our first 25th uh, century secret rare Junk Speeder, a beautiful looking card. I love the arc on this, and I feel like with the with the shininess of it, it just splashes out even more. Very, very cool artwork. Definitely, definitely a big fan. Let's go, guys. And we got another Dark Law. Let's go. <laughs> we got two Dark Laws. So we got to build heroes now. You know how it is on the channel. And oh, what is this? We got an ultimate rare Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. What is life right now? What? Let's go go oh my god i hope you guys can see how shiny this card really really is i'm really trying to take advantage of the ceiling fan light <laughs> uh man let me know if you guys can really see the full rarity of it in the comment section guys this is absolutely a beautiful beautiful card and i see what people mean when they say the birthing hips i see it now i didn't really look at this card before i see it <laughs> very cool guys and an evenly matched very nice now we got two cards we need to put in sleeves Heck yeah, man. Let's go. We got ultimate rare and we got our first 25th century junk speeder. Very, very cool, guys. Let's go. Nice. All right. Let's see what else we can get, guys. We're all starting off hot. Let's go. We got QCR, um, collector's rare, whatever. Uh, Dark Law, we got the Abyss Dragon, we got Forbidden Droplet, super rare, very, very good card, especially this format, kind of surprised me, came out of nowhere, but it is very, very good, this format. We got a Secret Rare, Time Thief Redoer, let's go, shout out Time Thief. 
Uh, let's see what else we can get. We got a ultra rare Simoon the poison. Okay, oh, let's put this in the, the secret rares. Okay, we got a, a ultra rare reasoning. Let's go. And downer magician. Nice. Whew. I feel like the first few packs start off really, really strong, guys. And it kind of, that one kind of, kind of mellowed me down. All right, let's calm down. <laughs> let's calm down a little bit, guys. Uh, all right, we got another Dark Law, guys. We got a place at our Dark Laws. I've never owned a Dark Law, so now I own three. That's very, very exciting. That's nice. Uh, very cool. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Secret Rare, evenly matched. Finally, I'm so excited for this, guys. I actually was really, really considering picking up Secret Rares, but realistically, if uh, since they're coming out in this set, there's really no need. There we go. And we got a Ultra Rare. Next, we got Downer Magician. And we got a Code Talker Inverted. Oh, and a uh, Pre-Preparation Rights. I keep messing that up. I feel like I'm, I'm done with the pack, but I gotta remember, it ends with the Super Rare, guys. It ends with the Super Rare. Let me not get carried away. Let's see if I can go ahead and make sure that it is properly done for this upcoming time. So let's see. So we got a Tribegate Revolt. Forgot this was in here. We got a Secret Rare Dragos Tapelia. Let's go. Heck yeah, man. This is gonna look so nice. Gotta upgrade, uh, upgrade, update the Brandon Chimera for sure. We got a Lightning Storm. Heck yeah, man. This looks so cool. I'm so excited that they reprinted Lightning Storm and Forbidden Droplets in the set. And we got another Galaxy Eyes Hat for Glow Dragon and a Shadal Schism. Very, very nice. So what I really love about this set, uh, like I said, there's a lot of, uh, in my previous videos, I've said that there's a lot of, uh, I guess, debate on this deck, this, this deck, this set is good or not. But honestly, guys, this, I think this deck is, this deck, this set is definitely worth uh, at least looking into. It's so, so cool. Now, of course, there is the the opportunity to gain multiple the same card in the same pack. So we'll see if that happens in this video as well. We got Infinite Impermanence Super Rare. We got Bear on the Floor Secret Rare. Let's freaking go, guys. So hyped for this um, because I sold my Baron like forever ago and I've really wanted to pick it up. But I knew it was going to come in this set, so I didn't want to pick it up. It was that type of scenario, guys. And we got it as a secret rare. The entire card is secret. So freaking clean, guys. Uh, we got Shifter. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out Shifter. And we got Compulse. Nice. And Dogmatica Ecclesia. Actually, very cool. I actually think I needed some Ecclesias for uh, some decks I am looking into building. <laughs> I won't give up the sauce just yet. We'll see if I can actually finish those decks. Uh, let's go ahead and put this over here. So we need we need to use more of these main face leaves, man. We need more of the sauce, the goo. We got Avermax, and we got hey, we were just talking about Ecclesia. Let's go. We got a secret rare Dogmatica Ecclesia now. Very nice. Uh, we got an ultra rare Striker Dragon. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got an ultra rare Shadal Schism. Nice. And a Borlo Savage Dragon. If I'm not mistaken, Shadal Schism did come out as an Ultra Rare as well with only one printing. So, surprisingly, and not surprisingly, I am glad that it got a reprint. I just didn't expect it for it to be in this set, but I'm definitely very, very glad it did. I've been messing around with some Shadal Trickstar guys. If you guys want to see that profile, let me know in the comment section down below. But I just want to go ahead and mess around with it. It's nothing too, too serious, but we'll see. Uh, so, we got a Super Rare Reinforcement of the Army, best card in Yu Gi Oh! We got a secret rare junk speeder. Let's go to match with our 25th century edition. Very nice. <clears throat> we got a ultra rare time thief redoer. Celine, Celine Dion, I should say. And we got a nightmare unicorn, super rare. Cool. We are halfway done with our packs, guys. Let's see what else we can go ahead and muster. See if we can get ourselves some pop prosperity, some ash. I really just want some effect failures and imperms. Is that too much to ask for? We got a dimensional barrier. Very cool. Secret rare reinforcement of the army. Very nice. Very, very nice, guys. Super hype for this one. We got a ultimate rare, the Iris Sword Soul. I don't care what card comes in this in this rarity, guys. This is so clean is absolutely amazing just how beautiful the artwork is the glow on it absolutely amazing guys so hype let's go uh, we got ice dragons prison and we have a magician salvation very cool let's go ahead and move this I actually put this in the wrong pile we got to use the the main face sleeve let's go <laughs> nice man we are killing it let's go see like i said with this set i don't think it really has any any bad uh, boxes that you can potentially get because they're all going to be ex extremely exciting first of all it has an insanely good card insanely good value in it so even if you don't want to go ahead and play 
pick up the shiniest card, even if you just want the super rares, that's perfectly fine, man, because not only is super rares gonna be dirt cheap in just about a few days, they're also gonna be extremely accessible to you, and you're gonna be able to get the best staples in the game for the low, guys. Let's go ahead and keep it going. We have a Blackwing Samoon. We pulled a Desires 25th Century Edition. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy crap. I need to reach out to Sword Soul players. Do you still play this card? <laughs> this is really, really cool, man. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Look at that shine. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, guys. Let's go. And we got our Ultra Rare for Bin Drop. I got to put that in the sleeve. Don't let me forget. We got... Oh! Oh, my God. Put this away. Get out of here. We got a Collector's Rare. Right, this is a collector's, yeah, 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 it's collector's rare because it's got the fingerprints on the sides. Fossil dig, guys. What is life right now? What? This looks so clean. So freaking clean, dudes. Shout out all dino players right now. Spam the, the, the W's. W's in the chat. W's in the chat only. Very freaking cool, guys. What? That is amazing. Oh my god, two incredible cards at the same pack, guys. Now we're talking. I was just talking about how we need to st we need to step it up with our rarities. We need to make sure that we are uh, pulling the goo. And surely enough, here we are, guys. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and put the collector's rare with the collector's rares. I don't think we pulled any of the platinum secret rares yet, actually, which I think is pretty surprising. I think we're supposed to get a few guaranteed per per box. I just want to see how they look like because I haven't seen them since what the 2014 Megatons. So it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. We got Small World, great card, fantastic card, does a lot. Uh, we got a Secret Rare Inspector Border, very, very cool. We got a, <laughs> we got our playset of Ecclesia. <laughs> we got the third, we got the Ultra Rare Ecclesia. Uh, we got the D Barrier and the Ice Dragon's Prison, very cool, guys. Let's go ahead and keep it going. We are about uh, maybe 75% of the way through the box. We're about 15 minutes in. Let's go ahead and see if we can shorten that out just a little bit. Uh, unless it's something really fire and wishes it had to. And I see something shiny. I'm so excited. <laughs> Eldritch and this is not the shiny card. It is a shiny card. We got Nadir Servant. Very cool. Again, a card that I've never really owned. Also, big shout out to Konami giving us the alternate printing for Eldritch the Golden Lord in non-gold rare. Disgusting. Uh, so go ahead and make sure that we take advantage of that. Let's see, it is a... Okay, it's a collector's rare. It's a monster. It is the Iris Sword. Didn't we already get one of these? No, we got an ultimate rare. Oh my goodness, guys. We are going to keep it for Winged Dragon around. Let's go. <laughs> we are getting the highest rarity of this card all the way around, guys. Let's freaking go. So, so far, we have the ultimate rare. We have the collector rare. And now we just need the uh, 25th century and we'll have all the rarities, guys. Uh, I don't think it's actually played in Sword Soul, funny enough, uh, but I look, if, if that's the case, I'm going to have to play Sword Soul, and I'm going to have to find a way to go ahead and play this card. That's just how it works here. I'm still working on that TG deck. It is not working out well, but we will see. We will see, because uh, I'm going to need a lot of Diabell Star stuff in order to make it really, really work. We got super rare triple tactics talents. I see the shiny right there. You guys see it with me? Let's go. <laughs> We got a Secret Rare Compulsive Evacuation Device. Very beautiful card. Very, very beautiful card. Uh, for uh, for uh, previous formats as well. If you guys play previous formats, very, very nice card. We have a... Okay, Ultra Rare Magicalized Fusion. Very cool. And what is it? What is it? What is it? It's a monster. It is a Lone Fire Blossom Ultimate Rare. <laughs> guys, this is amazing. So cool. Oh man, like I said, man, this just looks so freaking clean. Let's go. Is this played in Rika? <laughs> now I need to build Rika. <laughs> and then win the Charmer, which we don't know what that one's for. This is really cool, man. Every ultimate rare just looks so beautiful. Oh man. I really hope I get at least one or two of the either effect failure or imperm because I really want to see what they look like in these nicer higher rarities guys. So I'm very very interested to see what we can uh, accomplish with that. So let's go ahead and keep keep uh, keep it going. Uh, we got Magicalized Fusion and a Super Rare. That's perfectly fine. We got a Secret Rare Ash Blossom. Let's go. Very cool. Um, okay. Very nice. Very nice Ash Blossom. <laughs> That's kind of weird. 
<laughs> uh, let's see. It's not going to be something too, too crazy, but it's going to be an ultra rare imperm. Let's go. Very nice. We wanted the imperm. We got the imperm. And we got in a dear servant. I'm pretty sure that's our third uh, copy from a dear servant, if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. Nice. Place it. Uh, if it might be the second one, okay, then we just need one more. <laughs> but we got the secret rare Ash Blossom, man. That's what essentially matters. Uh, if we can get the uh, the 25th century edition, that would be fire. Uh, let's see. So we have the Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere mode. We got another Wing Dragon of Raw. I was just talking about that. Let's go. We got the secret rare Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere mode. And we got the a hey, alternate edition alternate artwork for the nightmare unicorn looks very very nice very clean love that the part of plan dragos to paleo and the time thief redoer guys let's go we got what four or five i think four or five more packs left guys we let's go ahead and keep it rolling so we got this next pack guys i feel like some of these packs do have six cards and i'm just i'm not tripping i swear we got ghost trick angel of mischief we got a Striker Dragon Secret Rare, very cool. I think that's the same rarity it came in before. I don't know, actually. Uh, we have a Ultra Rare Fossil Dig. Let's go. Shout out Fossil Dig. <laughs> we got a Vision Hero Ferris, nice. And we got a Cherubini, a regular Super Rare, very cool. We already got the Ultimate Rare, so that's fine. It looks like we do have four packs left, guys, of the best reprint set I have ever seen in my entire life. We got Desires, we need to pair it up with a Prosperity. There's a lot of incomplete things on here. Let's see what we can pull. So over here we got Alpha, the Master of Beasts, amazing card. We got Dingirsu, the Orcus, very cool as a secret rare. I don't know what it came as before, but I don't really see this card very often. And we got Tour Guide from the Underworld, very, very cool. I wonder if the alternate artwork is also in here. I actually don't know. We got Ghost Spell and a Harpy's Featherstorm. Very nice. We got three more packs, guys. So the as I believe you do get three of the um, 25th century anniversary editions or whatever it might be in each set. So in each box, I should say. So it should be in here somewhere. We got. I see something shiny. I see something shiny. <gasps> I think it might be here. <laughs> you might be here, guys. Let's go. Oh no! Yo, Pot of Prosperity, 25th edition, that sound the air horns, <laughs> that is really freaking cool guys, let's go, I didn't think I would actually pull one, that's amazing, heck yeah man, let's go, this is a beautiful card, oh man, now we get to pair it up with our Pot of Desires too, that's awesome, and we got an Eldritch, nice, <laughs> And we got a part, the third pot, the pot of extravagance. <laughs> now we need pot of extravagance in this in this rarity. Let's go. We need to finish off the play set. One of each. One of each. Actually, duality would have been a really cool one to have in this set too. I don't think that one got reprint though. Very nice, guys. Let's go. And of course, our official main face leaves. Nice, man. Let's go. Okay, I can uh, I can rest easy now. We almost got the full collection. Let's go. We got the pot cards in this box. Shout out to Heroes and Fantasies for hooking it up with the box. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got Egyptian, I completely forgot this card came in here. Egyptian God Slime. Uh, we got a Secret Rare Imperm, yes, let's go, I'm so excited. I've always wanted a Secret Rare or a higher rarity Imperm, but they've always been just way out of my budget, guys, but I'm, that's exciting, that's re that looks really, really nice. Uh, Borload Savage Dragon, uh, we got another Lone Fire Blossom, just the Ultra Rare this time, we don't need the, the Ultimate Rare Goo, not this time. In the last pack of the set guys, let's go ahead and see what we're able to go ahead and pull here. Let's check it out. So we have been super blessed this entire box guys, I am not gonna complain one bit. We got the Pot of Extravagance though, let's go, Pot of Extravagance. We got the secret rare Harpy's Feather, uh, Harpy's Feather Storm. There you go, I was, I was about to call it Harpy's Feather Duster. No, it's Harpy's Feather Storm. Very, very beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous in a secret rare. I believe the highest printing was an ultra rare before. This looks gorgeous. Might have to play Flu. No, I won't play Flu. <laughs> and we got a small world. Very, very nice. Small world at ultra rare. And we got a Fallen of Albus. I completely forgot this card came in this. I need I need some actually uh, some high rarity Fallen of Albus for my uh, Chimera deck. But that's cool. We are finished with our first box ever opening, guys, of the 25th Century Collection overall. 
How do you guys think that we did? We got the Cherubini, the Blue Eyes Abyss, uh, Iris Sword Soul, and Lone Fire Blossom for our ultimate rares, guys. For our collector's rares, we got one Iris, one Fossil Dig, one Dark Law, and one Magician Salvation. And for our 25th Century Edition cards, we got Pot of Prosperity, Pot of Desires, and Junk Speeder all in the same box. Guys, I think it's a pretty busted box, honestly. Uh, the only thing I could have, uh, I couldn't find, was any of the Platinum Rare. Like, I don't feel like we, I don't think we got any of the Platinum Rare, unless this is the Platinum Rare, and I'm just tripping. But I'm pretty sure the Platinum Rare had a full shiny everywhere as well. So let me know, guys. I mean, did I, did I pull one? Did I not pull one? Was I supposed to pull one? I'm very confused right now, but <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, guys. Is this the best reprint set? I'm already gonna answer that for you. You can say yes in the comments, but my answer is definitely yes, guys. Big shout out to Konami for go ahead and make sure that this set was absolute fire. I have a lot of searching for some amazing cars to do, but I will see you guys soon. I'll see you especially in the next one.